Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mangs, and I welcome you to part 5 of Let's Play Fire Emblem Midnight Sun. So, I restarted, played a little bit, and then I kept recording. So, this time I've actually managed to not get my tonics and elixir stolen by the thieves. It would also appear that this guy has a droppable tonic, which is why I got the elixir, I think, when he stole it. Because when I, when I, I think characters have like a preset droppable item, so... If uh, he replaces the tonic with an elixir, the elixir becomes droppable instead, and that's what happened last time. So it doesn't really matter if he steals anything from me, truth be told. Anyway, I think the Vibrance will appear next turn, so I gotta be a little bit careful here. Uh, I want to destroy this thief. And I think I will. I'm gonna have to, pretty much. Or else he steals stuff from me. So let's see if I can take out all of the enemies here, or at least take out some of them. The problem with those Wyvern spawning is that I really want to utilize the mountains for defense. Hit point, strength, speed, resistance, pretty nice. But I can't do that because then they attack me. So that's annoying. Though... Maybe. Oh, did I just send my Iron Sword? That probably was a mistake. Alright. Um, I can actually destroy this guy with Kristoff, that's good. Good. Alright, a level up for Kristoff. Let's see if he gets some good stats. Hit points. Skill. Alright, well, he does need skill. Let's see. Well, I guess we should use the lightning rod then. Maybe pull draw. The combined uh, efforts of pull draw and, uh, and our pupil can bring one of these guys down. At least should be able to. This should be relatively safe, I feel. Oh, come on, really? Oh, please tell me you're joking. Hmm. Well, I may be able to distract some of them. If I do this. Yeah, that, that can work. Oh, it's not this turn they appear, but the, the turn after that. Alright, well. Raya's in the mountains, so she should be fairly dodgy. I'm a little bit worried about Yuan, but okay, it looks like they're both going for Raya, so that's fine. That mage, however, was probably gonna go for Kristoff. And Shiori... Ah, Shiori actually took some damage there. I wonder if the game is over if she dies. It might very well be. Alright, so I'm pretty sure the Vyverns will appear next turn. So I need to be prepared for that. I think I need to get Menmus out of there. I don't think he can deal necessarily deal with them very well. Oh wow, Shiori is actually close to dying here. That is not good. She seems pretty relevant to the plot, so I guess it would be silly if she dies. Yeah, she died. How could this happen? And that ends the game. Alright, well, I'm so glad this game... Um, I'm so glad these events are totally in my control. That's... Um, yeah, that's that's annoying. Having some complaints about this hack so far. I gotta say, I don't like it when... Um, I don't like it when... Uh, well, things are not in my control. I mean, there's nothing I really could have done to save Shiora. It's not like I can rescue her or anything. She's basically walking around on her own. So, I guess I could try to kill some more dudes with Fire Trust, but still. Yeah, if you're gonna make Shiori a green unit, then at least make it so that she doesn't die. Oh, well, I guess I'll have to play a couple of turns off screen. Alright, there we go. Uh, Shiori is very wounded right now, but she managed to survive. And uh, I'm up here again. I, I'm pretty sure this is the turn that the Vibrants appear. So I hope that she's going for the fort to heal herself. There's nothing I can really do to heal her, to help her right now. So it's not like I can actually I can rescue her. Okay, never mind then. Apparently I can rescue her because my aid is as high as her con. Actually, it's one spot higher. All right then, my bad. Apparently you can't do something to save her. Okay, this guy has 11 hit points left, which makes me believe that. Ooh, that's. 
I'll take it, because I'm a fucking gambler. Yeah, I'll take the chance. Alright. Let's uh, jump back into the mountains. That's... Ooh, just outside of his range. Thank God for that. Alright, Kristoff. Uh, you just leveled up. Uh, okay, so the Wyverns are gonna appear next turn, so that I should probably get the fuck away from here. I remember they being able to attack this guy, so I should probably fuck off, like so. Mm, these are not good odds. At all. I kinda need to kill this guy, I feel. Alright, let's whip forth the Steel Sword. We need some extra damage. Now, I would prefer if Helios didn't kill all the Wyverns, but... It's better than the Wyverns killing me, that's for sure. Alright. I guess we could leave Rai on the mountains. She seems pretty good at dodging, so... They're in the mountains. They should have I difficulties hitting her, that's for sure. Alright. Uh, can Kristoff deal with this guy? I think I'd, it's perhaps better to let Andra do it. Probably. There we go. So what level is he now? He's level 5, so 5 more levels to go. We should have ourselves a pretty good uh, mage. I think I'm gonna promote him to a mage. I already have Fire Caress, it sort of fills the role as the, as the Shaman, so... Alright, I uh, definitely don't want to block the... Okay, there they are. Let's see who they go for. Alright, I actually wanted him to go for Fire Trust. That's a good good thing. Because Shiori needs to go and heal a little bit right now. There we go. Steel Bow. Okay. Yeah, they're gonna go for... Hoi I almost said Hoikade. But that's fine. 32% chance to hit. Now there's going to be three more... Oh... Okay, that's good. So one of them do spawn with a short axe, that's a problem. The short axe is a really good weapon, I feel like. It's it's not a hand axe, is it? Or is it? No, hand axes and short axes are two for two different things. 70 hit, 5 mites. Because they're basically like steel versions of, uh, of hand axes. They weigh more, less accuracy. Alright, so this is slightly problematic. These guys are not amber spawns. Hmm, okay, I can actually double them with Raya, which is a very good thing. See, so if they keep going for her, then that's good for me. Okay, I can do some damage to this guy with Helios. Let's hope he doesn't crit him. Oh, come on! Alright, we might be able to lure one of them. Into attacking, let's see... Iron Axe, shh, Hand Axe, so if we, let's see, if we position Andre, he can take a hit from that guy, yes he can, unless we get more Amber spawns, of course, which could very well happen, we could position Kristoff right here, that works, might as well get some experience on Puldra, not sure how good this guy's growth sets are, but I'm thinking not very good. He's hardly getting any experience from heal stives. Okay, uh, let's see. Can we... Are we bold enough to enter this forge? Yes, we are. Pretty sure Fire Trust will be able to take care of herself in that forge, because she does have boobs of steel. There we go. And I level up for Fire Trust. She's now level 8, hit point. Aw, oh, come on, really, game? You gonna do that to me? You gonna do stupid shit like that? Alright, as long as these Wyverns keep attacking Raya, I should be fine. She can take out one of them each turn, no problem. That might have been the end of them, I think, perhaps. Alright, these guys have holy fires, so I'm not going anywhere near them. 
Uh, this guy... I can't... S that, there was like this red-haired dude. I hope I didn't kill him or anything. Da, 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 da. Can I visit this house? Yes, I can actually. Do I want to? Let's see. 15 damage, 17 damage. I have a defense of 10, so that's very, actually, completely handle handleable. Alright, let's visit the house, I suppose. Some time ago, I wanted to become a shaman. I bought these books and started studying their arcane arts, but I soon realized I didn't have the skill to control that power. Whenever I see this book now, I feel a strong sense of weakness. It may be that this kind of magic is suited only for a few. Hey, you can have that book. I don't need it anymore. Well, that's... A vortex? Where the fuck did a commoner like you have the money to buy something like this? Dancing in the shadows. Okay... So what's so special about this tome? Well, compared to the Umbra, it's harder to hit with and heavier. Is this like a... Um, it's just like a steel, steel version of the tome, I suppose. Alright, I, I guess I'm gonna drink a tonic, actually, because I'm very low on health right now. Okay, I uh, can't reach that place with Andre, sadly. Let's see, I can actually double these guys, which is kind of funny. Let's see, but I don't want to take away the only... Okay, I can do some damage to this guy. That should make Kristoff be able to finish him, unless Helios crits, which he may very well do. There we go. Loving that Durandal animation, Hollywood. Okay, and then I can kill this guy. I hope that's the last of the ambush spawns. I gotta say, Raya is a very useful unit in this hack. I do like the fact that uh, that she has gr good stats, hit point skill, luck, defense, resistance, her strength suffers a little bit though, as with most female archers. But she is a decent unit. It looks like uh, the bows, yeah, Iron Bow has definitely received a huge bonus to his stats. I cannot, I cannot remember the Iron Bow having 90 hit and 7 might on it. Like, I may be wrong here, but that seems very powerful. So it could be that bows in general just have received an upgrade, which is, they really need that in my opinion, because archers are terrible. Everyone who's played Fire Emblem for a while knows that they are very subpar units. They have crap utility, they are weak, they don't really do that much damage. Oh crap, uh, yeah, that actually wasn't what I intended to do, but that's okay. Uh, who are you? You aren't one of the bandits, I suppose. You know, the boss of the bandits around here is a man, kin man called Garion. He calls himself a thief and a murderer, but he's a good person. He never hurt the poor like me, but I can't say he'll treat you kind in the same way. <laughs> uh, okay. Thank you, man, for being very cryptic. Basically making me feel bad about killing a boss. Some speed would be nice on Fire Truss, I gotta say. It'd be really nice. Oh! Those were the last ones, probably. I can't sense any more coming. Well, thank you for not being ambush spawns, that's all I can say. This guy's probably gonna steal my stuff. Uh, I say up into the mountains then. Let's try out this new Vortex Tome. Alright. I can't say I'm really thrilled about this, uh, about these guys. Let's see, can I kill this guy? No. But I can do some damage to him at least. Oh, come on, really? Is pulled dry able to finish him off? Not really. In fact, this is really scary because he might hit me back. And I don't want that to happen, so... Might be that I can trick him. I didn't quite check out this guy though, that's a little bit nasty, I gotta say. Oh crap, these guys have holy fire. Ah! Okay, I should be able to rescue her though. Okay, it's a Luna, okay. Oh, it has the same animation as Luna, but... Okay, this guy actually goes for Puldra. That's fine. 
I do believe I have uh, Menmos. Yeah, he can rescue her next turn. That's okay. Ugh! What the fuck? Ah, oh, come on, game, really? Ah. Oh. Oh. All right. So let's continue. I replayed up to this point. Now I'm going to rescue Fire Trust, which was my original plan. However, first I'm going to uh, grind some more experience off these guys. I'm trying to get Andre up to level 10, you see. Because uh, that would be really kick-ass to get a good mage early on in the game. However, if I'm going to leave this guy alive, then I need to... Let's see... This is a safe spot right here. Outside of the Brigan's range, outside of the Vyvern's range. Pretty much outside of everyone's range. Okay, that's good. So I've rescued Fire Trust. Now I'll see if Kristoff can deal any damage to this guy. If he can hit. Which he can't, because he's Kristoff. He struggles a little bit with the whole hitting business. Alright. Let's see. Uh, I might have to kill this guy. Yeah, I think so, because this guy does 14 damage, 18 damage. I'll have 5 defense in the forest, so that's... 9 damage plus 14, which is 14, 24 actually, so he will survive that, okay. Good day, you're one of the Brigands, aren't you? Then tell your boss I don't need the money he gave me. What? <laughs> I wouldn't feel right if I spent dirty money like this, sorry? Oh, come on, you're really trying to make this guy seem like the nicest guy in the world. How mean. Alright, he keeps attacking Raya, and now I can get the kill with uh, Andre, which would put him up to level 8, and if I can get some, if I can get even more experience off him, then um, maybe I can attack the boss or something, then I could actually promote him next chapter, which would be kick-ass, I gotta say. Let's see if we can make that happen. Oh, okay. Yeah, Shiori is getting attacked again. That's fine. Okay, she has decided to move off the forge. Let's drop off fire trust, shall we? And finish off this guy. We could probably use the fire tome for this. There we go. Now we should have ourselves a level 8, soon to be level 9 people. Yeah, we can make him level 10 this chapter. Shouldn't be hard. Hit points resistance. Not the best level up he's ever had. There we go. Wouldn't mind getting pull drop a few levels. He is very squishy. Alright, Kristoff. Do something about this archer, please. There we go. Okay. Sounds good. Let's just keep riding with Helios, I suppose. So these guys are actually moving. Would be nice if we could... Uh, maybe I should just go and rescue Shiori so she doesn't steal all the experience. That might be worth doing, I think. Oh, don't tell me. Okay, it's not gonna steal my stuff. Thank God for that. Yeah, I think I'm actually gonna go rescue Shiori. Cause, or else she's just gonna steal all the kills. And she's level 20 anyway. She's not, she's not getting anything out of it. She's basically just ruining my experience. Alright, let's go do it. I've heard this hack gets really difficult after a while, so... Having some high-level units seems very important. Ow! This guy is very nasty, this bandit right here. What level is he? He's actually level only level 4, okay. Alright, an Umbra should fix it. There we go. And that's a level up. Now she's level 8. Hit defense, okay. Well, I do like the fact that she's leveling defense, but holy crap. She is a freaking armor knight with dark magic right now. Her defense is higher than most armor knights at this stage. Alright, let's... Uh, we could actually pick up you, move you up. Alright, let's roll. So how many of these guys are mobile? 
All of them, it would appear, or almost all of them. Now, Sherry, stop! Sherry! Almost all of them. Alright, you coming with me. I'm sorry, but I'm not ha not about to have you destroy all of the experience. Can I heal people who are being rescued? Apparently, ah, it's only Manmus who actually needs healing. Alright then. Da, da, da. Like this healing music, it's kind of cute. Let's see, uh, if we drop off the pupil over here. Sounds like a good idea. Do want to put a little bit of effort into leveling him up. Shouldn't be hard on this mountain. Oh, he's in a peak, isn't he? No, he's not. He's Ow! Okay, you want to play not that way, okay. Ow! I guess no one's safe. Okay, I would prefer not to attack him again. Uh, I could do some damage to him though. Oh my god. Well, that won't kill him. So that's fine. Menemus is struggling badly with his speed, I gotta say. It's, a, it's becoming a problem. I'm wondering if it's because of the Steel Axe. It might be. Constitution 11. Yeah, he's getting way down two points, but his speed is five, which is really bad. All right, let's see. Yeah, this should be good. This, this this is a risk I'm willing to take. There we go. So that's our pupil up to level nine. Hit points, skill, speed, and resistance. Only one more level to go now. And if it's like Fire Emblem Eight, then he should promote uh, at the start of the next chapter, which is what I'm banking on. Could pull one of these archers with Kristoff, I suppose. No harm in that. There we go. Alright, so it seems like the rest of the foes are stationary, that's fine. Let's use the men's staff right here because our people did take a lot of damage. So those archers are stationary. Is that correct? Alright, nice. A level for pool draw, let's see what he gets. I'm preying on hit points and perhaps speed. Magic, skill, luck, and resistance. That was a really good level up. Wow, his luck is awful! Two luck as a level 6 pre-promote? That has to be probably the worst pre-promote I have ever seen in my life. Oh, wow. Alright, are the archers gonna attack us, or are they just gonna be... Ah, they're stationary. Okay, that's fine then. Means we'll have a good opportunity to... Oh, crap, really? Yeah, pupils are really slow. Like, really, really slow. Alright, we'll just we'll just do this carefully, I suppose. Okay, now they're probably gonna attack me. Yeah, now they're attacking me! Assholes! Oh, crap, no! No, 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 no. Please tell me this is a bad joke. Please tell me they're not going to send. Oh, come on, really? <laughs> oh! That right there is what you call trolley stationary units. Like they they pretend to be stationary until you come closer. Like yeah, they're they're not going to start attacking you when you're inside their range. They're just waiting until you get a little bit closer. Fuck, I hate this hack. All right, now we're here finally. Only this guy left, a bandit. Not sure if he's stationary or not, let's find out. He's actually not stationary. At least that's what the game wants me to think. But anyway, let's kill this guy with the holy fire. I do like the fact that there's reaver tomes in this game. That's a, that's a very clever, clever idea. Alright, I do believe Andre is level 9 right now, so that should be the end of it. I can go heal himself up on the forge. Oh, what the fuck? I didn't mean to do that, but okay. Okay, this is a good target for Kristoff. Kristoff has actually leveled up decently. He's gotten some speed. I mean, that's really the problem with fighters at low levels, is their low skill and speed. His skill still sucks, but... His speed has improved remarkably, so that's something. 
So Kristoff, like usually in, on the other Let's Plays I watched of this, he falls behind really early. But I'm gonna attempt to <laughs> give him some levels and try to make him relevant because I just love his characters too much. It's, he's just too genius of a personality, but I do think he needs a lot of help. I mean, I would at least increase his skill a little bit. Hit points, speed, and luck. And if you're going to make him like a Gonzalez unit with low skill, which is also fine, you need to increase his other stats, because if not, he's just gonna be crap. Like, what makes Gonzalez in Fire Emblem 6 such a cool character is that, despite having absolutely appalling skill, he has insane amounts of hit points, defense, strength, and speed. Which kind of makes up for the lack of his, him not being able to hit things. Now, Kristoff is... At this stage, not a horrible unit, I'd say. I mean, with my level ups, he's actually become rather decent. But if you, like, compare him to, let's say, Fartress... Okay, that's a bad example, because she's the Lord, but... If you compare her to, for example, Raya, who's level 5, you can see that... Her stats are actually a lot better than his, although his luck is okay. That's something I like about this guy. He has decent luck, it would appear. But give him, uh, give him a few points more of skill, and, you know, just... And if you want to give him a, like, a, a severe lack of skill, then at least increase his defense so he becomes a little bit tanky. Because right now, Kristoff is a... He is a glass cannon who is not really that much of a cannon. And that kind of makes him a very dodgy unit. If you're going to make a unit very squishy, they should at least deal a lot of damage. And he is currently not dealing a lot of damage because he can't hit shit. Alright, Andre is level 10, so we don't really need to do much more with him. Can Kristoff finish off this guy? He should be able to. Or not. As you can see, again, Kristoff's low skill is a big problem. But at least now he's able to frequently double things, which makes him a lot better. Let's see if he gets a good level up here. Hit points, strength... Okay, skill, speed, luck. That was a really good level up. Okay, he's definitely starting to become a decent unit in my playthrough. Alright, well, Farastress did said something about talking, so maybe we can go actually try talk to the boss. We can definitely try. I can't talk to him. Are you Carrion? Some of you men were calling out your name while attacking us. Yeah, that's me! What's all are you doing on the battlefield? It's dangerous here, stay back! I'm the commander of these troops. I'm Princess Paratrust of Hoikada. What? The Princess of Hoikada here? How could this happen? It's complicated and we just don't, don't have time to talk about it. Just surrender. You were kind coming all the way here to talk to me, but I really can't. Then it's true that bandits kill others for no valid reason. We're not at all like that. Many of us were unfortunate and had no other choice but to rob. Others are just terrible people though, but I deal with them when need be. Life is complicated. I don't expect a blue blood like you to understand. We're not all pompous and ignorant. I can understand your pain. That's why I'm trying to talk. It's useless. Words have never fe fed children or saved lives. If you want to convince me, then do it with actual facts. Fight me! Fine. Okay, so is there... Is, is it even, like... Sorry. Is there even a possibility to actually make this guy... Not fight you? Because that was kind of useless, I'd have to say. Alright, we'll send Kristoff at him. Axe versus Axe, the only real way to do things. Okay, let's see. Yeah, this works. I nothing against you, but I must defend my men. I'm sorry, do your best. Well, your men are already dead. Go Kristoff, go Kristoff, it's your birthday. Alright, so we, we made him use a steel axe. I assume he has a, you have a hand axe as well. He has a short axe and an elixir too, actually. Well, this bow is actually pretty decent against him. Aww. There we go. Now, theoretically, I could try to take him out right now, but that involves a ri risk. But, we like taking risks. Yeah! Go, Kristoff! Alright, pretty awesome. I suppose that's all we need to do here. We visited all the houses. 
Yeah, we visited all the houses. Let's go. Oh, he's still alive. Still alive, huh? Carry on! Oh, it's a journeyman. Carry on! Carry on! A kid? Jumbo, don't move! This is what I deserve since I am a bandit. If you help me now, you'll share the same fate. Stay back. As if I care, you're like a father to me. You took care of me and the others. I don't care what these people might think. I'm one of yours. I'll always be. Jumbo! Fire dress. I found a group of bandits that were escaping with some children. They probably kidnapped them. What do we do? Shiori, can you sense any malice coming from that direction? Mm, nope, I can't see anyone there. Then let them go. What's the meaning of this? I've done nothing but run away because of the title of vassal. I think that if my people had known me better, I'd still be the ho in Hoikade. Before the vassal, I'm Pyratress. This is the same. Dooming these people just because they're bandits is wrong. Sure, some of them might have done something wrong, but not everyone. Oh, this hack sure likes bandits. Makes them <laughs> come appear as the second coming of Christ. Holy shit. Wise words, Firetress. <laughs> Wait. Thanks. Don't thank me. This will be your last chance to redeem yourself. Don't waste it. Treat his wounds. Thank the gods. Oh, please tell me I'm gonna get that guy, because he's a journeyman. Everyone listen to me. We'll rest here for tonight. Hikata won't find us if we hide in the stronghold. Okay. Everyone, it's time to have fun! Ho ho ho! Ugh. What's the... Okay, I didn't quite catch that, because it went too quickly. It looks like water, but... Oh, it <laughs> he is... <laughs> this guy is dodgy. I love him. He's serving alcohol to kids. Looks like water, but it tastes stronger. This? Oh, it's just vodka, my boy. Try it if you want. Ho ho! Yeah! What do you want? You're drunk! <laughs> God, see? She's drunk! <laughs> Shut up, you ignorant religious zealots! I'm the princess. Show some respect or get the fuck out of here! Wow. You mad, milady? <laughs> wow, I love these guys. Oh my, what the hell did the bandits only... Why the hell did the bandits only have alcohol to drink? Well, at least it seems that everyone's having fun. Okay, it's nice. It's nice to see that people are... That you can have a little bit of humor in here as well. I like that. Oh, there you are. Oh, it's the hot chick. You're still awake, Faratress? You seemed scared at first today, but you managed to control your emotions. You don't know anything... You don't know a jack bat. Fire trust? Control my emotions? <laughs> Bitch, please. No, something I decided. I'm condemned to control myself. Are you okay? I'm not. Can't you see? You should be able to see the tremendous malice I carry. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm sorry. You must be kidding me. I'm the vassal of the Demon King. My. Very existence is a sin! You're the vassal? But still, there are lots of people who are here for you now. No! <laughs> They're here to escort me! Consider me a threat! I love my friends! I love my friends! I, li I enjoy voice acting drunk and fire trust. I've always been alone since the day I was born. I'm no father and no mother. I know my only brother is a stranger. The only person that cared about me when he was a queen was called his eyes, but it's all a lie. She used me and <laughs> threw me away like trash. Wow. This chick gets emotional when she drinks. All the people, all the people, they feared me, not respect me. And that fear overcame their false respect. <laughs> they turned against me. See, I'm just a mere shell for a power bigger than me. Just like Master Alvano said before I <laughs> had to kill him. <laughs> <laughs> Faratras, I don't care if you're the vassal. I'm condemned to stay in darkness too, so we can be friends. No, don't come near me. I don't deserve your kindness. Stay back. Come on, just kiss and be done. Wait. Stay back! I don't need anyone anymore. Faratras, where are you going in the middle of the night? Faratras! Alright, so drunken Faratras goes out on... <laughs> gets herself in trouble. Alright, my, my review on this...
my review slash thoughts slash feedback on this chapter. All right, let's start with um. Hey, you know what I'm gonna say? Fuck ambush bonds. I'm sorry. Just stop it. I, I don't think they belong in any Fire Emblem game, even if you give me a slight hint that they're coming. Ambush spawns are retarded. They only cause frustration. They're not fun. I don't consider them challenging. Just leave them out of the game. Stop it. Okay. So that's my thoughts on the ambush spawns. Uh, the map was fun. Great map design. I gotta say, I really like the fact that the mountains separated the two sides. You're basically doing battle on both fronts. I really like that. A uh, little bit, a little bit annoying that Shiori died, but I so assume that's a very small chance of happening. And I am playing on difficult, which means that the enemies are stronger. So it's things that will happen every now and then. Um, I like the uh, river tomes. Big plus for that. That's really, really cool. Um, I like the fact that they portray bandits as good. Perhaps a little bit too much. I'm not sure if it's like uh, to be overly ironic. Uh, I know that a lot of hacks are having a lot of trouble with uh, bandits always being the first enemies in every single game. It's a thing that's often made fun of. Uh, so it's kind of cool that this hack turns it like upside down and actually portrays these bandits as the good guys. And makes us feel really bad about killing them. Uh, as far as the story, uh, the story is kind of cool. Uh, I still like it. It doesn't seem overly silly. It's not too long. And I love the fact that everyone got drunk. I, I think they could actually have... Um, I feel like they could have uh, have um, had a little bit more dialogue, actually, between the different people when they were drunk, to be quite honest. Because uh, that was a lot of fun. You need stuff like that to actually make you care about the main characters. I feel like, so far, we've only really seen small glimpses of the different characters. And we're mostly seeing Firetrash, Shiori, and her brother in dialogue. So... A little bit more banter in the tavern could actually have been welcome. Like, I lo love the fact that Kristoff was like laughing at Raya, but there could have been a little bit more, a little bit more conversation going on right there, like drunken conversation. That's kind of cool. Um, the fact that Fire Trust gets all emotional and crying when she drinks, that's kind of funny. Okay, this chapter is over. I hope you guys enjoyed this punch. As always, my name is Mengs, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.